What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another FIFA 20, no, FIFA 19 draft video. We're hitting another retro draft today, and the draft record we have on FIFA 19, as you can see in the bottom left there, is a 195. And so we're going to give it another few attempts today. We're going to go down memory lane with the cards, the promos, and the drafts that we had. And if I remember correctly for this year, the 4231 was like the legit one. So a 196 is going to be the one for us. We'll take the 89 Antoine Griezmann to start. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the content, you want to drop a thumbs up on the video, that'd be much appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. Carnival and Neymar. Oh, yes. Oh, I forgot. They don't have like... Oh, oh no, they do have attribute details here. That card's legit. That'd be, that'd be a good card even in today's game. We'll take Neymar. He was already at PSG. At that moment in time, Cam number two, we've got Rajan Angolan, one of the original OGs of FIFA teams, Rajan Angolan was. Um, I don't know where he plays now. He was in the Italian second division last season, but he's not there anymore. I don't know where he went. Only three star, three star on this card. Some really nice stats and a really nice card, 93 rated. We've got Julian Brandt as well, 93 rated for him. Um... I have Ertz as well, and then uh, Cardona and Fekir. We're gonna we're gonna take Rajan Angolan because just one icon gives everyone some good chemistry in this formation, doesn't it? And uh, we're gonna go with uh, Sabitza as the next cam in at left back. We got Luca Dean, yeah, and we've got this just silky, silky team of the year Marcelo card. Four star weak foot, five star skill moves, high low work rates, dribbling is legit, defending and physical is legit. Passing's legit. Pace was legit. This was such a good card. And uh, although I really, really like a lot of the card designs these days, that one's just got a quality about it, hasn't it? It's just That's just a nice one. Um, we can get some Brazilian links in this team now as well. CDM number one, and there you go with some Brazilian links. There's a Declan Rice team of the season, a Fabinho row to the final card. Fernandingu. Cantillo, but Thiago Mendes is going to be the guy that we take. He's going to get a strong link to Neymar, the soft link to uh, Marcelo, and be popped in here with, oh, team of the year, Rafael Varane, one of the most OP cards the game has ever seen, ever. Pace, physicals, defending, superb. His dribbling was insane. His passing was perfect for a centre-back. He gets that uh, strong link to Marcelo for me, which is really, really nice. And the 195 may well be Alagi on his way. Who knows? Who knows? In at right back, what do we got? Ooh. Flashbacks are in here. They've got the SBC cards. We've got the Enna Valencia there. No, not Enna Valencia. Antonio Valencia. Enna Valencia is a striker, of course. Lee Yong. Is that Lee Yong Ray? Just Lee Yong from Jean Buck Motors. I think it's Lee Yong Ray. I, I, listen, I'm a, Yong, I'm a Jean Buc Motors fan, right? It's going to be sad to see uh, Song Min Q leave, but the Urara Reds need a new forward. So what can you do? I'm cultured. Just deal with it. Hector Bellerin, an absolute beast. We're going to take the Brazilian Danny Alves um, because he gets that perfect, well, that strong link in there. Uh, if we do that, and then I want to put Thiago Mendes over there, and then we'll pop. Brazilian Camboy in there. We get one extra chemistry. Let's go. Um, and then centre back. Christensen, Chris Smalling, Shackel. Oh, didn't he have a team of the season this 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 year? Take the uh, 84 rated. And then in goal, we've got Jens Lehmann. We'll go with Jens Lehmann. The German icon is nice. And that so far. Oh, I forgot. When Viper edits this, he's going to have to remember, my face cam's got to go the other side this time around because the rating and chemistry is in the top right. I, I was there looking like, what? How was it? It's only a 91 rated, um, but low, easy to upgrade. Easy to, oh, 95. Lev Yashin. Bosch. Le Bosch, I should say. Le Bosch. We've also got Aaron Wambi. Alex Tellez is a Brazilian. Could be very helpful. 88 rated as well. We're going to take him. We're going to pop him there. Let's swap those two around. And then swap those two around like that. That's Marcelo on seven chemistry. Teller's on seven chemistry. 
Danny Alves on 10 at this point. If I probably put him down there, yes, yeah, he would gain five more by putting the Brazilian in at DM. Not that I want him there, but it would still be helpful. We get Kenny Lala. He was amazing that season. In fact, if I put Jens Lehmann in, uh, in here, yeah, look at that. We get a big plus eight on the chemistry with uh, with Lehman in at Cam, which is really nice. Again, icon chemistry back in back in there. Icon chemistry was amazing. Pablo Sarabia, 94. Isn't that mad? He doesn't actually give us any chemistry. He's well high rated in that. No chemistry boost. He might... Ooh, 94. Rude boy. He might give us a chemistry boost. If... Of course, he Raja in here now might actually... Lose five there. Gain six there. That's better. Um, now, I wonder if... Uh, no, up front, maybe. No. Um, with Sarabia, we pop him there, we lose four. Put those two around, we lose two more. Put those two around, we gain that six back. And that's a higher rated in the team. So that is a uh, Twepion. That is very nice. Tellez just is that strong link away, isn't he? That's the problem. That is the problem. Uh, next up, we've got James Rodriguez. We've got Jan Oblak. That's a Big card, 95 rated, takes us up to a 92 rated team. Five picks to go. What have you got for us in draft one, EA? We've got Alex Lacazette, Vierinha. This card was mad. He had, I'm pretty sure he had a gold right wing card that were, that I used to play with. He was mad. Um, got Donna Rimmer, the wronger Donna. Alex Lacazette at Arsenal. Oh, I miss him. I miss him. Philippe Coutinho as a left wing doesn't fit. Donnarumma's from Serie B. Yeah, from Brescia. We'll take uh, we'll take Laka over Otavio. Still only 92 rated here. Four picks to go. We get Sterling. Good for the rating. Over Pozuelo. Pozuelo now playing in Turkey, I believe. Uh, next up, we've got Emmanuel Petit over Marzanetti, 88. Oh, do you know what? That Zanetti at right back and then Danny Alves at centre back is going to give us a little chem boost. Nothing major, um, but a little chem boost. Or, or even just Zanetti you know, at centre back. Say Same difference. Um, we get a little upgrade there as well by popping uh, Sabitza on the reserves and Tellez on the starting 11. We get Luis Muria, one of the most openly players in the game back then. And then the last pick for today. We've got the right back uh, foot birthday Milinkovic Savic. He doesn't fit into the team. He does fit onto the bench. So it's only a 93 rated, unfortunately. The chemistry. I would need a miracle. I would need a miracle. Um, I don't think we're even going to be able to get it. But that is the t draft attempt number one, guys. Not bad, a 93 rated. Some some lovely players there that I haven't looked at in a long time. But yeah, let's get into attempt number two. And see what we can build. Alrighty then. Attempt numero B. Four triple two was nice, but let's go for something a little different. Let's go for the uh Yeah, let's go for the classic, the 4-3-2-1. I'll tell you why this is just better than the 4-3-3. Because like this Ian Robin here, who was insane in this game, he could go in the right forward spot as a right winger. Um high low work rates, two star weak foot. But this card was amazing. This card was amazing. The premium squad building challenge, Arjen Robben, back when he was at Bayern before he retired. We'll go with Dybala there. There's a team of the season, Malpai, who could have been good for the French links. Acuna Matara is a left wing when he was at Sporting. Obviously, uh, that was five-star skill moves on him now as well. Um, obviously, now he's at uh, in, in La Liga as a left back. Eden Hazard is who we shall take. Centre mid number one. We'll go Parejo. Doesn't get any links, but chemistry these days, easy. Yeah, look, oh, 93 Santi, because all of Santi. Oh, how I miss you, man. Another ex-Arsenal player. It was just brilliant for us. Uh, oh, 1999 team of the year, Luka Modric. Give me some of that, baby. All right, give me that Marcelo and Varane. This is how you get the 195, guys. I was going to I was gonna show you, and then I decided against it. We'll take Chilwell as a 76-rated left back. Center back number one, right there, Militao. Man, the Porto version of Militao was such a beast. We will take Virgil van Dijk, 94. 
a Socrates was nice. Gerard PK could be really good here because of the Spanish links. Um, so we'll throw him over there. And then in at right back. Team of the season, Trent Alexander-Arnold. We're going to swap uh, those two bad boys over there. Those two bad boys over there. And those two bad boys over there. Happy days. Told you, chemistry is easy to get in this game. In goal. Oh, team of the year. David, do you know what, guys? Do you know what? Last night, whilst I was just like chilling out in bed, winding down, I was watching TikTok and a montage of some of De Gea's best saves came up. It's sad, man, that he left Man United. It, it's sad that he's leaving Man United being remembered as somebody, even though he won Golden Glove last season, he's being remembered as somebody who, like, dropped the ball a lot and made a lot of errors. And he did make some errors, but every goalkeeper makes some errors. And I was just watching some of the unbelievable saves he made. And I just felt sad for him. Not that I should, because, you know, he's, he's obviously made a mint from playing football and he's got to play football for his whole career, which is absolutely amazing. But... What a player he's been for the Premier League, right? What a player. We've got ourselves Sergio Ramos here, which is a great player to have because he can just go in at that left-back spot. And then we can put Luka Modric over there, get Modi some extra chem, get the Spanish links there as well, which is nice. And, uh, yeah, PK and Ramos can get into the team on chem. We've got Carl Walker's uh, foot birthday card. From right back to centre back, EA, EA were dangerous back in the day when they were like moving some of these players around. Right back to centre back is that's a wild move. We've got the CDM version of Zanetti, which is uh, lovely. We get a plus eight popping him there. Gets Rob in some chem. I actually can't believe that Santi offers us less chemistry. Gives us a bit more by popping him there because it gets uh, Parejo on full chemistry, which is quite nice. Bruno Fernandes, Carlos Vela at the uh, at LA. We've got Chiesa, Sancho back when he was at Dortmund. I saw Sancho rumoured away from United. Gabriel Jesus there as well. Hakim Ziyech back at Ajax. Some names now that are obviously uh, been to and left in some cases the Premier League. All right, this is uh, this is falling apart massively here. This draft, this is not going to be a big rated draft. Kingsley Coman, ninety seven. Lionel Messi. Do you know what the Argentine links there are amazing? Let's pop him on the bench over him. That is a ninety three rated draft. This is a really nice draft, isn't it? We've got two picks to go. Ooh, Huntelaar. Jordi Alba gives us some chemistry. Not much, but enough to get us close close enough. He gives us a plus four, takes us to 98. If we put PK in here, it's still the same. But PK can just come on the bench for Carlos Vela, or Carlitos, <laughs> as I like to call him. Um, and then if we just got an Argentine manager, we get full chemistry here. This is nice. Ah, oh, the silver. No. Um, let's get our manager. Give me an Argentine. Come on. Yes, there he is. And we do get a 193 for attempt number two, including a 97 Messi, team of the Modric, team of the De Gea, and in general, really, really nice team. How is that a 193, man? This is what I mean. Like the 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 way that the rating was kind of like derived back in this game was just way different, which is how a 193. Is possible from a team that looks like that because I don't think that's anywhere near a 193 or a 93 rated. I think if you put this exact amount of ratings into FIFA 23, it's probably like, like a 91, <laughs> most maybe a 90. Um, but that is attempt number two. Let's get into the third and final attempt. And here it is, guys, the third and final attempt. The FIFA 19 retro draft. We shall go with, let's go with a bit of a different one. Let's go with a 343 flat. There's that Robin again, that David Villa at Vissel Kobe. Five-star, four-star. This was one of my favorite cards, This that game cycle. I remember, and I, if I remember correctly, he came out quite early in the game cycle as well. We will take Arjen Robin as our first player. We will take Robert Lewandowski as our second player. Was Ribéry still in the game here? I, think, I mean, I'm absolutely certain he was. We've got uh, the cheap Ronaldo at left wing. 
Jesse Rodriguez. There is Ribéry. We'll pop Ribéry there. We'll pop Ribéry there. Chemistry, schmemistry. Although we get the chemistry because schmemistry, you know. Um, man, Pastore, remember him? He still play football? How old is he? 1989. He's five years younger than me. Yeah, he, he, he should. It wasn't even a PSG, actually, Pastore. Better Toots plays in the French League now as well. Malinovsky plays in the French League. Thomas Pina actually just finished playing for, uh, I believe, Henan Jianye um, in the Chinese League. He's just finished his contract with them. We'll take 82-rated Fred, now plays in the Turkish League. We'll partner him with Wijnaldum. we get that Dutch link so we can put Wijnaldum at right mid alongside Robin if we don't get anyone too legit. We'll take Pepe, of course, who used to play for Arsenal. <laughs> Another ex-Arsenal player. Oh, Fabinho as a centre-back, as an informed centre-back. Van Dijk, Izzo. Izzo had some legal troubles, I believe. Uh, and uh, no longer is attached to a team this season. Team of the season. Virgil van Dijk, that perfect link to Wijnaldum. That actually gives us a real good uh, ability to put Wijnaldum at right mid now, if, if it fits. We have got flashback Vincent Company. What a card that is. What a card that is. And then at goalkeeper, Lafon. Allison is an 85. Ruffier. We'll take Allison because he obviously gives a good chemistry and gets good chemistry. It's only 90 rated, but the chemistry is there for this one. We've already got quite a lot. We've got Iker Casillas back at Porto as a flashback. Of course, now an icon in the game. We've got Jordi Alba, Alex Tellez at left mid. We've got a Brazilian we can link him to, so they'd at least get a little bit of chemistry. We've got Gerard Piquet as well, but those centre-backs are already pretty legit. Yeah, we're going to take Tellez. We're going to pop him up there. He gives us plus one chemistry. Nothing like crazy or major. And see... Ooh, Marcelo team of the year. We have to for the rating. I think if we actually put Marcelo in over Iolini... Did I say Bonucci earlier? I might have said Bonucci. You know what I meant. Still there though, isn't it? The options are still there. Zanetti 93 again. We like that. Gives us a plus two there. It is where now we take Pepe out. We get a plus three. But if we do that. Oh no, we actually lose more chem. Yeah, we'll just do that. That's 90 chemistry now. Lever, all, all the front line are on like basically maximum chemistry. It's not got quite what I'd expect actually. We do we do gain chemistry for having him there, mind you. We've got Bernadeschi that we'll take. We'll put Bernadeschi at right mid. We'll flop company back over there. We'll get Marcelo in at left mid. And we'll take out Tellez. Or Chiellini. That gets us up to 99 chemistry. So an easy manager for the chemistry. We just need some rating now. Kylian Mbappe back as an 87 rated winger at PSG. Doesn't serve any purpose for this team for us. 97 team of the year Neymar, however. And go in there. Gives us full chem. I think Marcelo he loses a bit of chemistry there. But that is a big, big squad upgrade. 90, oh man, the team of the year card this year was just so nice. We've got 94 De Bruyne. We went fully Premier League again. Wouldn't get what we need. So Hesse can come off. That's 91 rated. Team of the year De Gea. I don't think we gain chemistry on him either. No, but it's another team of the year for the bench. That's three team of the years in this draft. That's pretty mad. Loads of good team of the seasons as well, to be fair. Ooh. 96, Mario Sané. Better to put Neymar in there, but... That is a big, big, big addition. It is a 193. Again, we've already got the full chemistry here. I am sure that we can get De Bruyne into this team. It would mean, how would I get, uh, yes, nah, let me put De Bruyne there, let me put one out of him there, I know we lose massive chemistry, we gain 10 back there, we get Marcelo in there, and across there, 84 chemistry, and then we bring back in 
Zanetti, 94 chemistry. And we swap Zanetti around, still just 94. <laughs> it's because Marcelo's not a centre back with that full chem. That is where Chiellini and Bernardeschi make all the difference. Which at that point makes it better to keep the team that we had, which is too bad. One Adam can come back in. Would have just been nice to get the De Bruyne 94 in there, as I say, but I, th I think because of the way this uh, game worked this year, um, I have there. Okay, who did I have? Oh, it's because I need Van Dyke back in the middle, don't I? Van Dyke goes in there, then Zanetti goes in there. There you go, that's our 100 chem. Yeah, because the, the starting 11 gives way more weight to the team rating than anything else. Just getting those big boys in as much as possible would have been really helpful. However, isn't going to happen this time. We get silver again at the end. That's so sad. But we got back-to-back 193s in this one, guys. Manager doesn't matter. And uh, that was a nice little trip down memory lane for the FIFA 19 foot drafts. We'll have more retro drafts next week. We'll go back into FIFA 18, 17, and FIFA 16 if we can still access the game. But for now, guys, that is going to be the end. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.